Good morning, Bridge Nation. It is your host, JoJo, and welcome to Release and Reset. He is risen. We know what day today is. God is risen. Jesus is risen. He's alive, and that's why we can have ourselves a beautiful day. I just want to shout out everybody who is already at church, because at this point, you know, church pack. Easter Sunday, we know the thing set, you know. But those of us who are, you know, constantly late, still make your way there. There's a blessing there. God is waiting on you in church right now. So head out and enjoy yourself and remember that He's risen. And that's why we're here today. And that's why we can give Him glory. We can give Him thanks. And for those who are at home, or you're probably heading to country and you're listening, you want to hear some gospel music some inspirational music some words of encouragement that's what release and reset is all about encouraging you letting you know that there is a being greater than you and that being is jesus christ you understand me and there is something to live for and that's what we're going to be talking about we're going our topic this morning is actually faith and i'm it is confirmed that the topic for this morning is faith because when i went to church yesterday right that's what is uh, that the the past pastor spoke about and i just want the story was just amazing but because it was about the woman with the issue right with that issue we know that story and i saw a video of that last week or it was it in this week earlier in this week and i was just so inspired at the fact that the video depicted her just trying to just touch the hem of his garment and in just touching the hem of his garment she was healed instantly because she believed and we're going to talk more about how faith um affects us affect our life not only our personal lives but also our career you understand but we can't forget that today's the day that jesus christ rose from the dead so we know because he lived because he lives we can face today tomorrow the future all right what and now i'm home jesus is just so amazing bridge nation so before i forget there are two things because i don't think i forget but i haven't so last week I asked persons, and this include my engineer. So I'm gonna look up and say, "What should I talk about now?" But remember, I asked you guys to just do one simple thing this week. This week, all I asked because last week we were talking about what were we talking about again, Kevin. I know it had to do with kindness, and I said, "I'm just asking you to do it just for one day, right? Just go and ask somebody how they're doing. Are you okay?" You know, genuinely do some an, an act of kindness. So whether it be an act, active listening or maybe you give somebody a biscuit or something. I think Kevin gave me a biscuit this week. I'm not too sure if it was this week or last week. Kevin, when was it? When did he give me the biscuit? Uh, this week? Last week. <laughs> so, but that was his act of kindness. So I want to know, Bridge Nation, talk to me. All right, you can send a WhatsApp message at 876-551-5782. What kind of act what act of kindness did you do this week? Did you do anything kind for somebody? Did you do anything nice for somebody? Talk to me, talk to me. But this week we're looking at faith, right? We're looking at faith. And the verse of the day is, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. And this comes from Hebrews 11, verses 1 through 6. Right? Now, listen. Listen. It's not the easiest thing, especially in a time like this where sometimes it just feels origination like every single thing is difficult, like nothing is working out when it when it's not sadness, when it's not somebody who has lost a loved one due to violence, when it's not, um, you know, the bills piling up because it's not like you're not trying to pay the bills but it increases every single week when it's when it's not some it's hard to find food because the food prices is increasing every single week what is always something and you and you 
you start to feel like you're losing hope, you're losing faith, and you're wondering to yourself, is there a God? Is there a God that truly loves me and cares for me? Why am I going through all of this? You know, and you start to believe that nothing is going to work out for you. You start to lose faith. You start to lose hope, you know. And I wanted to look at the word faith today and, and, and just what it truly means to have faith, especially in a time like this. Now, what is faith? Faith, is, uh, faith, it's a word we hear thrown around all the time. Keep the faith, walk in faith, have in faith. So what is faith? Faith has several different definitions. Um, one, complete trust or confidence in someone or something. Two, strong belief in God or in doctrines of religion based on spiritual apprehensions rather than truth. Three, a system of religious belief. No. The fourth is a firmly held belief or theory. Now, this is what we think faith is. The Hebrew word for faith is emuna, and I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, but which means support. This is perfect because faith is like the Lord's support. To us, to us, because he is working in every situation for his glory, regardless. Faith is so important in this time. Having faith is so important. But you know what is um, amazed me, Bridge Nation, is the fact that even when we don't have any faith in God, God is faithful to us. He's constantly showing up in our lives, whether or not we want to believe it. He's faithful to us. And one of my, my, one of my favorite hymns, and I always used to sing it in church also, is Great is Thy Faithfulness. You know, we... Even when little things are not working out, those minute things are not working out, we, we must remember to see the bigger picture of things, of how God is working in our lives. Like, for instance, we might think that it is simple that we get up this morning and we're able, you're able to hear my voice, you're able to hear the music, right? But isn't that God providing for you? Isn't that God making sure that every facet of your body is working in the way that it should isn't that him being faithful to you? Even though you might have done some things last night, even though you might have done some things this week, even though you might have not acknowledged him any at all throughout this week, you never said once, not once, did you say, thank you, Jesus, for waking me up this morning. Thank you, Jesus, for providing this food for me. But yet still, he has been faithful to you throughout this week. We're going to talk about faith a little bit more later, but I just want you to know that sometimes it might seem that God, you know, is not working out things, but he, he is behind the scene working out everything for you. His faithfulness is great because no matter what we do, he's faithful to us. Isn't he amazing, Bridge Nation? Now, as I shared, we have a guest in studio with us this morning here on Release and Reset. Um, our guest this morning is Elvis Livingston, who goes by the stage name Elevate Music. He's an upcoming gospel artist and a minister of the word. He's also a graduate of the Assembles of God Bible College, a graduate of the University of Technology with a degree in computing. He has also completed two masters, project management and business administration. So he's not just about music, he's also about education as well. So we're going to hear from Elevate. I hope you don't mind me calling you Elvis every now and then too, just in case. <laughs> just in case. So welcome to Release and Reset, Elvis. How are you this morning? I'm doing great. Awesome, awesome, Praise awesome. God. Now, we have been talking about faith this morning, Elvis, right? And we said that it, we know how important it is, especially in our walk with Christ. Right. That it's important for us to have faith because sometimes there are going to be things happening that just don't make no sense. I said, Father God, you sure you're going to make the promise that work for me? So talk to us before we get into your journey as a, you know, a, mu a singer or an artist and all the others aspect of your life right. talk to us about your faith and and what it has been like in your christian walk how 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 faith come plays in in your christian walk well faith is a substance of things we hope for mm. the evidence of things you know that we, we have not seen as yet mm -hmm. faith is the core of my walk with christ 
it started with faith. Mm -hmm. Faith is what keeps me going. And I know by faith, you know, I'll reach to that promise that God has in store. Right. Um, it's faith that led me to, 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 to God. In terms of my surrender to Christ, I believed what I heard. Yeah. The faith comes by hearing right. and hearing by the word. So I believed what I heard and that belief led me to have an experience with God. Yes. And that experience changed my life. It changed my heart, it changed my mind, it changed the, how I see the world, how I see life. And faith was that bridge for me. Okay. Faith was that bridge for me to cross from not having that heart and experience um, with God to the point where I'm so convinced in my Christian walk of the reality of God that it doesn't matter what anybody said to me, mm -hmm. it can't change my belief or my faith. I used to say back in the day that my faith is like a tattoo mm -hmm. that you're trying to wipe off with a wet tissue. It's just <laughs> not going to move. <laughs> That's right. Now, could you, no, probably one of the, just one story or one thing that happened where you're like, you know, God, you know, stay faithful. And it showed that having faith also made him come through for you. Mm -hmm. Just one one thing that happened. I was sharing with um with 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 them that this why I fo focused on faith right. today is because during this week, I think about Monday I saw a video and it was depicting the woman with the issue of blood. Mm -hmm. And I said I felt inspired to talk about faith. And then I went to church yesterday mm -hmm. and guess what the pastor preached about? The woman with the issue of blood. Oh, and that. I was like, God, if, if if at any point I thought that he was not listening to me, mm -hmm. that was my confirmation yesterday, that he is listening to me, that I am not on my own. So at any point before, I thought that probably this what I'm doing not making any sense. It's not reaching. He's not listening. He doesn't agree with what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. That for me was me saying, you know what, I, I have faith. And it just increased my faith. So what has happened in your life that increased your faith in God? To say, no, say God real. Well, something that wow. stood out for you and you'll be like, this is what. Let me know that I am not going, no matter how the struggle is in trying to live a good Christian life, I'm not going to stop because this that happened to me increased my faith in God. Queen Jojo, <laughs> yeah, that's a hard question. <laughs> I guess there's a lot, no. There's so much. So when you say choose one, it's like I'm thinking, I mean, all right. So from 2012, 1st of January 2012, that's when I got converted. Okay. And and um, it, it was, to me, it was so dramatic. I guess, you know, part of my personality, I'm a, I'm a bit dramatic. So okay. God, God deal with me according to my personality. Right, right. Um, I used to see ministers talk on TV and persons falling down and such. I'm used to think people are pretend mm -hmm. and they're fake. When I was being converted, I was at the altar and I remember the pastor praying for me and prophesying over me and all that. And when I tried to step back, I didn't have no strength in my body. Mm -hmm. My body got weak. So you said, I drop a ground. Everything just became alive for me right there in Christ. Okay. That's when I realized how real God was. And the shaking, when we get up a shake, I realize that something happened to me. Mm -hmm. You see, the peace that I felt inside, mm -hmm. that's something I couldn't explain. Right. It's not something that I've ever experienced in my life. And I've done a lot of things that is not encouraged. Right. Right. <laughs> but that peace was what cemented that faith for me. And that peace has never left me. Never left me. No matter what I do. You see, once I go down in prayer and pray, it's just a matter of how much the peace magnifies, but it is yes. always there. And yes. that is the comfort I feel no matter what I go through. So sometimes, you know, in my educational pursuits, sometimes I feel like, oh, I'm not going pass, I'm not going this. I'm realizing yeah. time after time, no matter how difficult it is, God always give me a little way to go through. Yes. In the nine to five world, I've gotten promotions based on, and I think it's because of the, the transformation that God did in me it changed my personality that i become more respectful yeah. you know my mannerism has changed yes. how i talk to people mm -hmm. all of that i think helps shape are still shaping me into the the, the man that i am today yeah. and it's only by faith yeah 
And me have to just give God all the glory. Because if I never feel him, I would not be sitting here right now talking to you, Queen the Jojo. Same thing I told them this morning. <laughs> I was like, I don't want nobody to be fooled when they see me on here talking about Jesus, you know. And there are persons who are watching and feel like you're not, I'm not good enough. I'm not asking you. I'm telling you. There are persons right now who are sitting down, looking at me, looking at you, saying... But not just the other day, I see she that bubble. Uh, she, she never there. Oh, uh, this, I could have swear I see her. I never she, but I don't care. Something happened, and Somehow. I said, God, you have been so faithful to me. What am I doing? I need to serve you. Right. You know, and, and, it's, and it's not because I wasn't at, a, I wasn't at church. Mm-hmm. I, wasn't, I was just sitting on and I was talking because it's something I think is important. To always be having a conversation with God, and I said, God, what may I do? May I fool? May, may, I, may I waste my time? May I waste my time? Been, you understand me? Yeah. So when I hear you said, and that piece that part, it all understanding mm. because people will not understand, understand and it. they see the changes, and you're just not going to do certain things anymore. You're going to lose friends. You're going to lose family. You might even lose your job. Who knows? It is what it is when it comes to serving Jesus. It is what it but, is. But. It is important that piece that passed all understanding. I love that you said that. Now, I want to get into your journey as um, a musician, doing music. Mm-hmm. What, where did that come from? What inspired that? Is it the same time when you you, you finally converted in 2020, 2012? Okay. It started from before. Okay. I actually started my musical journey by writing songs in high school. I used to love listening to rap music. So I used to write rap songs. And then one day I went to a, a, con- a, a barbecue mm-hmm. to, to perform and they didn't allow me to perform because it's like dance artist was, you know, there. Yeah, there yeah. So from that night, I started writing dance songs <laughs> because I said, all right, nobody now listen to me as a rapper. Mm-hmm. And then I was doing that until I met somebody, um, a, a good friend of mine by the name of Caldino, who yeah. um, helped me with producing, writing songs, you know, getting my music out there. Yeah, man, camera flash. From where I made a connection with him, yeah. and then subsequently my conversion to Christianity, we mm-hmm. still had that friendship. Right. We still maintained that friendship. And I stopped doing music for a while. You know, I started focusing on Bible school, getting a degree. And do, I think it was close, close to COVID. At that time, mm-hmm. I you know, wanted to do something mm-hmm. because you know the, the the scripture in Matthew 25 with, with the man with the talent that was yes. bearing it. Yes. A regular when I come across a scripture, they may feel like God did just a leap my palm back and I say, Virgin, I give you that gift, you're yeah, doing it. Yes. So I decided to go, you know, start writing some songs and put it out. And I did. And then I stopped again. And I felt that same conviction coming back again like, listen, it no matter. The education, the education um, achievements and this, like, I have a talent that I need to share regardless of what I think people think about it, whether I want to be big or not. Yeah. I just need to share it and let it be a blessing to someone. Yeah. And that's how that started. So I was going by the name Brother Elvis okay. because I was saying, all right, <laughs> yeah. you know, I just want to be myself. I don't try to put on no persona. I just yeah. want to be myself. Mm-hmm. But God gave me a dream some years ago. Um, the, the Spirit of God lifted me up and put me on a seat and I asked why was I placed so high mm-hmm. and I heard a voice say that you got elevated. Mm-hmm. I had several subsequent dreams of me being elevated and such. One day I started thinking why am I having these repetitive dreams of elevation or levitating or floating and it just came to me that I have the power to elevate myself. Mm-hmm. So going back to school with always wanting to learn new things and, you know, wanting to get ahead in life positively, I started to do a little, you know, brainstorming session with our friends and I, I realized the name Elevate Music, Elevate coming from the dreams yeah. and the music because I have that talent. And also, my name is Elvis Livingston. <laughs> so the E for Elvis and the L-I-V for Livingston. I realized that elevate the Elvis Livings, everything did just mind blow. So I was like, wow, this is it. <laughs> this is it. And I tell you, see, from I started using the, the, the stage name, yeah. elevate, it's like 
God just starts opening up doors and opportunities and letting me meet the right persons. And here am I beside Queen Jojo ah. doing an interview <laughs> right now. And I'm saying to God be the glory. Amen. Amen. Great things he has done. <laughs> now, um, so this that's powerful, knowing. And that's the thing I always tell people that God... God will lead you where you need to go. Amen. Even if you don't know what happened right now. I always say talk to him. I know people would tell you, oh, pray. And you think that prayer is just, prayer is not just being on your knees. Yes, it's good to go into that corner, go into your space. And, but sometimes you just need to sit down and reason with God. True. And be real. Uh, you know, and in a fairy tale movement, this. You understand right. me? Sometimes you just have to be real. Now, um, music, we know that it's influential. It's mm -hmm. an in influential tool. It can impact us negatively or positively, whichever way you want to take it. It is powerful. And it has been impacting our youth right. here. And not just our youth, but even adults. We see how people behave with certain music. Um, so our youths are being influenced today, our generation and generations to come. Talk about that. Like, where do you, as a gospel artist, because sometimes we hear music that we say are gospel music, but then it is, it still has a feel of the world mm -hmm. in it, you know? I don't mean, I say regular dancer because I think music can be a different genre. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be slow mm -hmm. for it to be gospel music, time and place or everything. But then there are some gospel music that just sound too much like the world. Mm -hmm. How does that, how do you maneuver in that space where you want people, you want especially the youths to hear the word of God and to be inspired through your music. But at the same time, you want to make sure that you are on that path where you're doing the will of God also. So you're not stepping outside of his will. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you for that question. So. I told you when I started writing songs, I was um, writing rap songs. Mm -hmm. I don't remember one song I write now, but <laughs> I started writing rap songs because I couldn't, like, I didn't used to listen to souls and R&B. Right. Souls and R&B couldn't get through to me because my ears was in tune for rap. Right. And then I transitioned to listening to dance or music. See, one of the, the artists that I admire and respect, um, DJ Nicholas. He was one of those artists that when I listened to him, because I, my ears was tuned to dance music, right. I was listening for someone with a particular style or sound that I was familiar with. Right. And when I was listening to him, I understood what he was saying. I understood what he was saying. And when I became a Christian, I started listening more of his music. I realized at the word, the man of DJ, yes. and that encouraged me to step out and do the same. So what I do, is I ensure I read the Bible. So you say, may I write a song? Somewhere down the line, is either may I apply the word or may I quote back the word, but the, 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 the content of what I'm doing have to be positive. The message is positive because what I realize is young people nowadays might not listen to the, the, the Grace Thrillers type of songs and what have you, but a lot of them are listen to I won't call, call some artist name, but <laughs> yeah, the music, <laughs> those music that are going so viral and it's easy to right. catch on because sometimes it don't make no sense, but it have a vibe. Yeah. It does have a vibe. It's and a speed you, off. Yeah, <laughs> right? And so what I do is, me, I hear them, but I say, you know, I think there's always a, a positive alternative. So if yes. they want a style, yes. I'm putting the message of God in that style. So music to me is like a package. Yeah. The message is the content in that package. Right. So whether the, 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 the package won't be slow, worship, soft singing, whether it won't be fast paced, whether it want to be rap, whether it want to sound like Calypso, whether it want to sound like Soka, whether it want to sound like anything. It's what you're listening to. Yeah. Because if you listen keenly, you will hear something, a message, a word. And you're not going to get through to everybody. And I, I, I'm at peace with that. Not everybody going to accept the way how I present the gospel, sure. but some people appreciate it. Yeah. When we say children, I sing my song and think we say yes, positive impact, mm -hmm. because they have somebody they can listen to and get something positive from, rather than the the, the drugs and the you know yeah. low end of standard and right, right. all sort of other thing. Mm -hmm. So that is out there, right? The devil have to do him work. God has got to do him work through true. his people. That's so, I don't bash nobody because of the spirit of the man. Mm -hmm. We who are governed by the spirit of God, who know better, will do better. So we know that, hey, that is the, the, the sound that is popular. 
put the message in the sound of Poplar and put it out there. Mm-hmm. But what, what for somebody who might argue and say, and I agree t- with you to an extent, but for somebody who might argue and say that if the influence of that rhythm mm-hmm. does this, why would you use that rhythm, that same rhythm, to put with God's work? Why yep. would you mix that? with God's word. Uh, to me, I, what does a rhythm, if you listen to a rhythm by itself, what does it say? Um, it depending on, it depends because I always say, for instance, Afrobeat, mm-hmm. there is, I, I don't know, if you don't want to be honest, that's going to be this. Anytime I hear Afrobeat, mm-hmm. I dance. I, I dance don't know too. about nobody else. I dance but too. I move and if <laughs> I move like an African woman, I don't know about nobody else. It's in our bloodline. So, <laughs> <laughs> you understand me? So, it has the influence and depending on what it is you want to, um, what it is you're trying to connect, what it is you want persons to hear, especially when it comes to the word of God. I just think that we can be a little bit more careful, but you are right because, as I say, there are gospel music that I listen to. It is rap, it is dancehall, it is reggae mm-hmm. um, that has become very popular, reggae um, gospel music, and it's dancehall, but I just think that we must be careful of, of the mixing. That's my thing, of the mixing and how we present it because at the end of the day, we want them to come and to be changed and to be made hold in christ right i agree with that mm-hmm. now it it, it 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 shows that you are passionate about music and you're also passionate about god now i want to know how has god been helping you to be faithful as a gospel artist in this country where gospel music is not necessarily lucrative it's not mm-hmm. something that you are going to necessarily make a whole what? heap of money from right mm-hmm. Um, that was, that was a thought of mine back in, you know, a couple of years back when I was, you know, doing like an analysis, mm-hmm. looking at, you know, the type of artists that seems to profit from music and those that don't. Right. And, you know, it, it come back to the core of, you know, what am I here to do? What is my purpose? Um, the impact that I can make on someone, I don't know where that might lead to. Yeah. Right. I might be doing music 5, 10, 20 years and it's probably at the 20th year. It's going to minister to somebody who will do something else. Or, or, you know, I can be that bridge for somebody to right. do something great for God. Right. So the reward, God will give me that reward. Yes. So even, I'll tell you this, even my grand aunt um, called me this morning and asked me to do... Um, a performance in in Mapen, you know, she want me to come and minister there to assist um, with their church ministry. Okay. And nice. she said, "Oh, you know, we can't pay. I'm not, we can't pay." And I'm like, "I'm saying yes to every opportunity, paid or no paid, because it gives me joy yes. to share my talent with people. Right. Whenever I am able to do that, I realize I'm happy. I'm just happy just doing it. So it's not about financial gain." It's just about sharing the gift of God and allowing that to, you know, to minister to people in the way that God wants it to. That sounds about right. All right. So uh, bef- we're going to take the. All right. So let us play the song. We'll take the break and come back to continue this interview. Decades, Decades of hits from, from the, the classics, classics to, to current, current tracks. tracks. You'll find, find it all on, on the, the Bridge 99 FM, FM the station, station for everyone. Good, well, it's the morning. Good morning, Bridge Nation. It is your host, Jojo, here on Release and Reset. If you're just joining us here on the Bridge 99 FM, I am speaking with a artist. His name is Elevate Music, but he's also known as Elvis Livingston, right? And he has been talking about his journey as a gospel artist and just how God has influenced every single thing that he has been doing in his life right now, you know, and we played his song before we go to the before we went to the break, which is um encourage. Now um elevate music. What advice or encouragement can you offer to persons struggling to be faithful, especially as Christians? My advice is keep praying and keep that faith in Christ. Um, I've struggled before, and that's also one of the lines mm-hmm. from one of my songs. Um, 
that the, when you struggle, go through the struggle. Don't backslide. Mm. Today mm. is Easter Sunday. Mm. Jesus was crucified. Mm -hmm. He was buried. He was resurrected. Mm -hmm. His blood cleanses our sins. That's the right. Bible says if we confess our sins, he is faithful mm -hmm. to forgive all Amen. unrighteousness. Mm -hmm. So, and this is some of the things that some people will, will probably bash, but as Christians, we have access to grace. Mm -hmm. We have access to forgiveness. And that is the thing that once you can admit that you're wrong and you go to your father and talk to him, he's going to accept you and he's going to counsel you and teach you. So, reading the Bible, praying, having good Christian friends, having a community, mm -hmm. you know, a good church that you that's there to support you. Careful with some Christian friends. Yeah, well, <laughs> that be a, careful uh, of the company you keep in well, all aspects. But well, yes, that's, good, that's right. But the Bible <laughs> says, you know, you have to test the spirit. So you that's have to know true. who is good for him, not good for you. <laughs> right? And every personality go good together. That's and right. everybody <laughs> can be an advisor. And everybody you know, can guide you. So you, you have to test the spirits and allow God for, for direct you accordingly. Right. So, you know, these are some of the things that I um, lead on, you know. Yes. My church, Evangel Temple, um, I love them. Very supportive um, church. And, you know, God, that's where I had my encounter with God. And, mm -hmm. you know, I just feel like that is home for me. And mm -hmm. everyone there, you know, big up on yourself. And, for me yeah big up evangel temple <laughs> um for me that that's where i find you know solace yeah and i'm not going to say everybody is not perfect you know no, Every, man, people have them little issues and them but, but guess what mm, there's no family that's perfect no nope. there's no oh, family no. that is perfect no nope. but there is love yes there is love mm -hmm. genuine love and that for me is what keeps me going so no matter what happened is it because me experience God in such a powerful way and know the love of God? Yeah. That sustains me. And when I find persons with that common belief and experience, you know, I can talk to this person or that person about, you know, what may I go through or whatever struggle may I have. And you know what, what I love? When I'm bridging, can say, all right, you know, I could go pray about this. We we'll go pray together and yeah. seek God. Sometimes you don't have the strength to pray for yourself, no, but yeah. you, you can confide in somebody, and that person will probably take all a three or a seven day fast and prayer for you. Right. I love that. That's a love. That's a real friend, too. Yeah. yeah. And then you see, when you find yourself a go through something, sometimes you pray about some situation, and you come out tight, and you look back and say, But wait, you realize, say, that could thing they're gone. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes God just move things. And, you know, sometimes I, I believe. You know, the, the decisions that we make will always shape us. And sometimes I believe that, you see, just keeping your commitment to Christ, no matter what, yeah. says a lot more than if you encounter something and just walk away. Yeah. Because it probably shows that you never have that, that rooted and groundness in the first place. But when you can remain in Christ, come what may. No matter what storms, no matter what problem, no matter what setback, no matter what sin, you fall yourself in a, find yourself in get up and keep going. Get up and keep going. It's not over. Amen. Amen. So where can the people find you as we wrap the interview? Tell us where we can find Elevate Music or Elvis Livingston. All right. So Elevate Music, spell E-L-I-V, numeral sign eight, M-U-Z-I-K, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, we have TikTok. Mm -hmm. Where else is there? <laughs> all right. uh, I'm trying to cover all social media platforms <laughs> with the name Twitter. so that so everybody wants to connect, you know, YouTube, same elevate music. Um, you know, I have content posted there and more contents will be coming as I get more into, you know, um showcasing okay. myself as an artist and right. you know the journey going on. And this year really is a transformation year for me. Um, my first time at the Genesis Praise Fest. I was awesome. one of the performers Congrats there. Congrats to that. That's awesome. And that's where I met um Marsha Wade. Oh, Marsha. Yes. Hey, Marsha, big up yourself. <laughs> big up yourself. We had Marsha Wade on last week. Such a powerful woman. Just yes, powerful indeed. powerful story that she shared. And I could have just identified with several things that she was saying. So big up yourself, Marsha. 
Yes, man. Awesome. And, and then she kept a show and invited me, and I went. So you see, I went to Genesis, met Marsha, Marsha, and it's like it, this just started a momentum. Mm-hmm. And she was the one that really connected with the name Elevate Music. And you see, persons might say, oh, yeah, you perform at Genesis, you're going good, this and that. But you know what happened? You see, backstage, when Marsha came and spoke to me and prayed for me, that was my blessing from Genesis. Oh, that was my wow. blessing from Genesis mm-hmm. because she. The prophecy that Marsha spoke, when somebody I tell you about your life from when you are little come up and them don't know you, mm-hmm. I know say, a spirit of God I speak through this person. Mm-hmm. And that's how we had that connection. And I, I love Marsha. I, I love her ministry and I love how she supports her husband, mm-hmm. you know, in, in, in what and, and how they work together. And she's just a blessed lady. Uh-huh. So. Manchester, yeah. you get beer big up this morning <laughs> for release and reset. Well, thank you so much, Elevate Music, for passing through here on release and reset on the Bridge 99 FM. I always appreciate every single guest that decide that, you know what, I'm going to come in studio on a Sunday morning to chat with Jojo. I really do appreciate it. Thank Thanks you so much, and I wish you all the best on your journey, not just as a singer a musician but your christian walk with god i hope that you continue to be faithful and you elevate with your journey with him as well where if he opens up to you and gives you more information about your walk with him because you see as christians sometimes we think that it's just one we just went settle mm-hmm. right here but god has so much more to expose us to and to teach us Amen. so we must be open to his words and his guidance right Amen. so all the best on your journey sir thank and you. thank you so much for passing through on release and reset thank you for that me. was <laughs> elevate music we're going to play some music may i have to take picture because they don't know we're in the social media era <laughs> so right. we're going to take a quick music break and i'll be back to wrap up with you guys. <laughs>